Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to do a vlog. Right now I'm on my way to a store called At Home. I've never been there before, but I got a gift card there, so I wanna check it out and see what the store is all about. But I know it's a bunch of home decor and I heard it's like similar to home goods, but it has like a lot more items in bulk. And then after I'm gonna treat myself to my favorite meal, which is this place near my house and it's Indian food. So I'm really excited for that. And I am recording with my iPhone right now because I don't trust myself out and about with my nice camera because I'll probably drop it or something. So sorry for this bad quality. Okay, so I just got back from the at-home store and I'll show you guys what I got in a bit, but I got my favorite meal. So I get a garlic naan with some rice and then I get this curry that's called Aloo Matter at that restaurant. I get it a spicy four because I like my stuff really spicy, but not the max spicy because that just messes up my stomach. But yes, I'm so excited for this. Like if I ever want to treat myself to a really yummy meal, this is the meal that I get. So here is my favorite meal all plated out. I am so excited to eat this. And I definitely have water on hand because this is pretty spicy. Okay, so we just got back from our walk and now I want to show you everything I got from the store at home. It was really cool because it was huge and there were so many different things that you can shop for, but I feel like a lot of the items there were kind of overly priced. Like I would feel like a lantern or something and it would be like 30 bucks, but the lantern didn't feel like it was worth $30. So I definitely feel like a lot of the stuff there was overpriced, but there was a lot of options. And there was some stuff that was decently priced, I would say. You just kind of have to pick through it all because there's just so much to look at. Uh, I didn't end up spending my whole gift card though, but I'll show you a few things that I got. So first I got this candle warmer and here's what the candle warmer looks like. It heats up the wax melts in this little dish right here with a light bulb and you can plug it in. But I plan to put this above my TV where I have a candle right now because the candle fumes are like staining my walls because I think I have my candle way too close to the wall. But I even trimmed the wicks and everything and it still kind of stains the walls and I close the candle with the lid. So I'm gonna not have the candle there anymore and then replace it with this. Oh, and this was $15. So for my candle warmer, I bought two little packs of wax melts and these are $3 each. And they come with six cubes. I got a uh, ocean tide. It says it's tranquil water, warm sand and tropical flowers. Definitely has like a nice floral scent to it. And then I got Escape to Paradise. And this one has sea salted driftwoods, warm sands, wind swept grasses, and a hint of sugared papaya. This one definitely smells more like papaya, like the island to me. So I'm really excited to use those. Then I got these picture hanging strips because I'm gonna hang up a picture in my uh, dining room area. But this is so that I don't damage the wall because the wall where I wanna hang it on is like some type of wood that I don't wanna ruin. So I'm gonna use this to hang the photo there. And this was $10. Like I feel like that's overly priced. Like I probably could have got this on Amazon for way cheaper, but it was there and I needed it. And then I got this cute small plant that I'm also gonna put on my TV stand. This was $5. And the last thing I got from at home is this utensil holder. And this was $13. So right now I have like a black utensil holder and I always wanted to get like a white one. So I saw one on Amazon that was the same price. So I just got this one from at home. I'm gonna replace the black one I have with this one. So while I'm here showing you things that I bought, I'm gonna show you what I bought from e.l.f. and Ulta. So I saw that e.l.f. launched that new glowy product and I had to buy it because I love the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless face filter or whatever. And this one's like way cheaper. So I bought this and I went straight to the e.l.f. website. 
have it packaged really good. But this is called the Halo Glow Liquid Filter Booster. So you can apply this underneath your makeup or just alone to give your skin a nice glow. And I got mine in the shade 2 Fair Light. So this is the applicator. Here's a swatch of it. So it definitely has like a nice glow to it and it has some coverage too, but not much coverage. It's really pretty. I'm excited to use this. So from the e.l.f. website, if you're a member, they also give out a birthday gift. So my birthday was in July, so I got a birthday gift and I picked the Ride or Die Lip Balm in the shade Cookie Dough. I really like these lip balms. I have the mint one and I also have this one too. I'm not going to use this one because I'm going to give this one away, but how cool. It's a full size product too. Then I got a couple other new products from their website. I got this sponge and it's called the Wedge Sponge. And I plan to use this to like chisel out my contour or just like to bake underneath the eyes. But I love the shape of this. And you can use it wet or dry, it says. Then I got this dry brush cleaner. So this is what it looks like. And it has this little like spongy, like more of a tough sponge material in here. And what you do is you grab your brush and you just kind of swirl it up in there to clean off eyeshadow or whatever you have on it to dip into a new shade if you wanted to. Excited to try that. Then I got the No Budge Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Sand Dune. Now I really like to wear brown tones in my crease area. So I got this to hopefully try and do that or even just do a liner with, but it looks like it has a tiny bit of a sparkle to it. Oh, it's, it's very creamy. This is the shade Sand Dune. Look at that. So it's not like a warm brown tone, but I would say it's more cooler brown and it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. That's really pretty. I can't wait to use this. Then the last product I got is also a new item on e.l.f. It's called the No Budge Matte Shadow Stick. And I mainly got this so I can do like a smoked out wing liner with. So this is the packaging. These have little sharpeners at the bottom, which is nice. So here's the shade Cool Beans. And this is like a nice, almost black brown. So this would be perfect to do like a nice smoked out wing liner with if you don't want black black. And that is mainly why I got it. Then I got a couple items from Ulta that I wanna show you, but I got a pack of these scrunchy, scrunchy, I don't know, these clear little bands so I can use them in my hair when I don't want the hair tie to be visible. Then I got this Lash Princess liner and I did use this and I actually really liked it. The shade though is like actually really, really brown. I thought it would be like a darker brown, but it's like definitely more of a warmer brown. Looks pretty dark on camera, but in person it's like almost like a red brown. But I did like the way that wore. Then I got the Jaclyn Cosmetics Brightening and Setting Palette. I exchanged the palette I had because so I got the shade light, but I needed a darker one. So I exchanged it and got the shade medium. And this is what it looks like. Definitely matches my skin tone better, but I'm gonna use these mainly to like lightly set underneath the eyes when I want a little brightening and then I'm um, setting my eyeshadow. Then I got two sets of nails, both from the brand kiss i did use this one already i wore them when i was on vacation in san diego but they lasted my whole trip and i didn't have a single one fall off and i was there for like three days by the end of the trip i ended up just ripping them off so they probably would have stayed on for quite a while but these are what the nails look like and they come in a good range of shapes and these are the medium length ones i love the way that they look and they didn't look like super fake or anything like i love them so much i went and purchased a different set and then I got the impress color ones so this one you glue on and these ones already has glue on it so you just press them on but I'll show you what they look like because I've already messed with them and these are just a nice neutral color so this is what the nail looks like I'm not gonna put them on now but they definitely look real too I got another set of press-on nails and these are the ones that you glue but they have like the subtle French tips and these are the medium length. They had long lengths too but I'm not good with using long nails so I just got the medium ones. Then I got the B Flat Firming Belly Cream. I have a lot of stretch marks from having my son and I know like that was bound to happen and they're just gonna be there so I've accepted them and this is that product that i've seen all over the internet where people use it and like their stretch marks just disappeared and i'm sure it's like 
that's not 100% true and those photos could possibly be fake but and I bought it anyways because it had a lot of good reviews and I'm just willing to try anything at this point so this is what it looks like and I'm actually going to start using this today I'm going to incorporate this into my night routine but since I bought this it came with a little travel size one too this is small it's only a 3.8 3.8 fluid ounce and then the small ones a 3.3 fluid ounce. This was like a gift with purchase when I was buying stuff. They have like that nighttime deal or whatever. So it's the Morphe continuous setting spray, the travel size, and then a brush tip liquid liner, the M165 brush, and then a lip gloss. So that's cool. I love that Morphe setting spray. It's like my favorite. I got another set of press on nails and these are the Glamnetic ones, but look how cute these are. Like I love the different color tip. And the last thing I got is from Rem Beauty, the Ariana Grande brand, and they just launched these new concealers. So I got the shade Light 10, and this is the Sweetener Concealer. And it says, it's infused with our REM Hydro Smooth Essence. This creamy formula conceals soft focus perfection. And it comes with a little scoop or two. So let's do a little swatch. And this is the shade Light 10N. And since I bought this, I got the sponge with purchase. So that's really cool. And the sponge feels soft and it's not like super stiff or anything. So it's like really small. And it has an odd shape to it, but probably so you can dip it into the concealer and then apply directly onto your skin. So I see what they had planned there. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I just did like a body wash and I really needed to like deeply wash off all the makeup on my face. But anyways, I wanted to quickly show you my current night skincare routine. So I just used this Shea Moisture body lotion all over my body. And earlier you saw I hauled this and this is the Mally's B Flat Firming Belly Cream and I applied it all over my belly area. And right now my stomach is like, it feels really hot, like it's like burning or something. But it says apply the cream on the belly area until fully absorbed. No need to wash away. The sense of heat may increase and may be felt for up to two hours. Wash hands thoroughly after using the product. So I definitely feel the heat on my stomach area, but maybe that means it's working. So I'm gonna quickly wash my hands. Okay, so my face is washed and I've been using the uh, Beauty Bio pH Balance Cleanser. And at nighttime, I always like to use this TLC Glycolic Night Serum. This is from Drunk Elephant. So I just apply this all over. I tried to keep my skincare routine pretty simple. So once that's on, I've been using this Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick. I just put it underneath my eye area. And it says it's safe to use around the whole orbital bone, so that's what I'm gonna do. Then after I do that, I've been using this Summer Fridays oil at nighttime and it's the Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. And I'll just apply this everywhere. And then for lip balm, I've been using this Smith's Eucalyptus Balm. And I'm basically out, but I just got a new one. I love this one for nighttime. It's like super hydrating. For extra like under eye hydration, I've been using the Patchology rejuvenating eye gels. And I like to keep these on while I'm getting like settled in for bed. They feel so nice and cooling. I'm spoiling myself with a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie. This is my most favorite cookie and today is all about treating myself. So good, I love those cookies. Anyways, before I end the vlog, I wanted to talk about a few things that I've been doing to help manage my anxiety. And it's like really hard for me to talk about it for some reason, but lately I just feel like my anxiety has gotten so bad. And it was like this before I had my son because some people are like, oh, maybe it's postpartum depression and all that. But I don't know, I just feel like the older I get, the worse it gets. For example, the other day 
I needed to go to the grocery store because I was like out of cilantro and I had to get my son like certain baby foods that he really likes. I get anxiety about taking him places because I don't want him to have like a meltdown or anything. He's almost eight months now um, and just many other reasons. I don't like it when it's super busy because then I get flustered when there's too many people around me. So I downloaded the Instacart app and literally went on that app, added everything I needed, and then deleted it all because I'm like, oh, you don't need to pay 15 extra dollars to get it delivered to you. You can just go into the store and save that money. Then I keep talking myself into doing it, then talking myself in out of doing it, and it's just things like that, I don't know. Things that I shouldn't feel scared to do, you know? Eventually though, I did end up going into the store and my son was great, everything went great. Um, and I'm really glad I did that. I don't know, just certain things, it's just so hard to do. Like even treating myself to Indian food today, I get anxiety about going and just walking in there and possibly seeing someone I know and not being ready to interact with them. I don't I don't know, it's just all, all, all these thoughts in my head. So I've been trying to write stuff down and I just started doing this. I've been trying to write down like talking points if I ever do see anyone in public. Goals that I want to do because that's another thing that gives me anxiety and just like setting too high of standards for myself. So I've been writing down goals and telling myself that it's okay if I don't do something in that day. And then just being able to write down positive thoughts that I have, like positive things that can happen in the future and stuff like that. And I don't wanna be super negative on here about my anxiety and stuff. Cause I know a lot of people go through it and I know a lot of my close friends are and then just more people are open about it now. But I love, being able to go on YouTube and just post stuff on here. Like even though I only get like a couple views on each video, I get so excited. This is basically like my place where I can have no anxiety and feel great and just have fun. So I like to write stuff down too about YouTube or just ideas that I have been helping me a lot and I'm gonna keep doing this. Anyways, I'm going to finish my cookie finish writing stuff down and stuff about my day and stuff that made me happy. And then I'm gonna go to bed. But anyways, please let me know any ways that you guys deal with anxiety or stuff you do. I'm always trying to find new ways to manage it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It's gonna help me so much and I'll see you in my next vlog.